New tonight, a nationwide show of support for Emma Fouts. Hello, everybody. I'm Mike Brookbank. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. We have been following the teenager story since October when she had an asthma attack at a school dance that left her in a coma. News 5's Emily Hamilton is in the newsroom tonight with more on the Valentine's Day love that's been pouring in for Emma during her recovery. Yeah, Mike and Tracy, Emma's mom tells us the support for her daughter reaches far beyond their Norton community. The postman has made multiple trips to deliver entire totes full of Valentine's Day and birthday cards for Emma almost four months after her nearly fatal asthma attack. Full of Valentines coming in from all over the country. Christina Wiegand says Emma's story has touched the lives of more people than they could have possibly imagined. Now, a local organization has stepped up to help other kids spending time in hospitals. The Giving Doll organization has handcrafted dozens of Emma dolls, one for every day Emma has been in the hospital. Those dolls are then donated to other children who need that extra support. Her parents say the widespread show of love has helped push Emma throughout her recovery. When they brought in all the cards, I mean, she had the biggest smile on her face. I think she didn't realize the, you know, amount of support that she has and kind of physically seeing all these cards and they're just coming in. Mm -hmm. um, she really, I think, is kind of giving or getting the, um, you know, the scope of how much her story has reached everybody. Emma's parents also sharing some of her progress with us. They say she's been piecing together short sentences, something doctors once believed may never be possible again. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Hamilton, News 5.